to decide to be different in a place that doesn't respect difference is a really violent thing. I know that I am very privileged to have been told that it was okay for me to dress as an individual, even though it made me less safe. To be a black boy in Virginia who said, I want to grow my hair out down to my shoulder blades in a town that hated queer people and black people. My family protected me and said, you can do this because we believe in your individualism and that matters to us. My name is Jeremy O. Harris, and I am a playwright and a performer, and I guess now someone who makes capsule collections. <laughs> this collection is very much like a play, and the theme of this play is, as a child, I murdered a desire to blend. I wanted each of these pieces to walk in step with themselves, have something about them that screamed individualism while also having like an echo of history to it. That's what I think about when I think of like, a flare. Having a flare is like an echo of something you've witnessed before. When a young kid has like a flare for the dramatic, they're performing something they've seen or they've heard, but also bringing to it their own personality to create something kind of new. When we were looking at all these different fabrics, I got to actually touch and smell and rub them against my body and like truly understand every way that this piece was going to live. One of the things my mom taught me was that like, ask questions of the right person and don't feel dumb for asking questions. She would ask me what I thought of anything she would wear. So I would help her pick out dresses and pick out hats. That curiosity, excitement, and generous naivete my mother has around clothing, I share. I'm really grateful that I learned that at an early, early age. It's made clothing feel like something I want to share with other people.